We are here today at Epcot. We are here for the International Festival of the Arts, and we are going to check out some of the art booths today, maybe some of the food and drinks that they have offered here. Can't get to everything, but definitely no, going to try a lot. We are going to super try a lot, and we are going to do the Paint by Number mural. I cannot wait to do that. And oh, there's a monorail right there. So with that, we are going to go off and have some fun. Come along with us, guys. So here's something that you guys can step into, where you just step into the picture. And look, it says, look up to the stars and make a wish. Aw, this is my wish. And just like any good princess in Disney, you got to have your animal sidekicks to be able to help you. Why don't you dance along with them, Liz? Is that your prince? And her water bottle. <laughs> Aww. And we already know Liz is practically perfect in every way, but here she is with Mary Poppins and the penguins at the tea party. <laughs> doipy, doipy, doipy. A magic band's going off because I'm saying hello to Figment. Oh. The magic band was going off. Figment needed to say hey. I know Figment. Isn't he so stinking cute? These statues really are one of the best things left over from the 50th. Oh, absolutely. And they're all over all the parks, which is really fun. And with your Magic Band Pluses, you can totally interact with them. Yeah, and it's like vibrating right now, and yes. I waved and the music went off. I love it. Let's go take a look at some chalk art, guys, and see some of the artists actually creating their work right now. Look at all this chalk art, guys, and there is so much more on the other side. So we'll have to go show you, but one of the things, oh my gosh, look at this. Look at Tafiti. That, that is amazing. Look at, they just sit on the ground and do it. And speaking of which, let's show you. This is it in real life. Look at the creation. And if you see, that will be the finished product. what they're doing already. Look at that. And who doesn't love a good Cindy Castle? And there's Alice and the Cheshire Cat. And we talked to one of the artists and uh, as she was doing the Cinderella Castle and she said that it typically on something around this size would take about three hours but on larger ones uh, it would take up to six. And this is all weather dependent too. If it rains this is all gone. Luckily today, there is no rain in the forecast. But then again, it's Florida, so you never know. Oh, there's Aww. our boy. Look at that stitch and scrump. Super cute. Look <laughs> at his little face. He's so happy. And I don't He's know like if you guys can... Up with scrump. Can you tell? Look how detailed this is with all of the different, you know, kind of the shading. Look at his ears, all depth. the lines. Yeah, the depth. There you go. Yeah. It's amazing that they can do this with just yeah. chalk. And a sidewalk. So for all you parents out there with kiddos coloring on your driveway and sidewalks in front of your house right now, this is what it could turn cool. into. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, you guys, you guys. Okay, here's Figment. Awesome, Figment. F Figment is doing sidewalk chalk art. He's doing like a ballerina. He's drawing, maybe, yeah, it looks like a, maybe a ballerina. Totally looks like a ballerina. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I think because it's the same head. artist, that figment is drawing her. Look at that. I do want to definitely give credit to the artist. Look at, look at this. This is amazing. Yeah. So super cool. Wow. Figment's got some imagination. Look at that. Yeah, it's a little sparky. So now we're doing the expression section paint distribution and we are going to go paint part of a mural. Okay, by number eight. How many of you are painting today? Two. It's going to be two. Can I request purple? You're amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're going to do six squares. six squares. Six squares? And then which one is it that we're doing? This one right here. Oh, wow. So this so is awesome. the one that we're doing today. Awesome. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait. That's going to be awesome. Thank you. We're going to paint six squares each, and I've got purple. That's so i got to find three. So I got white as my color, like non-color, but... It's cream. I, I, it's cream? Liz says it's cream. It's a donut. I don't know. I think I think it's like I'm gonna paint over numbers. That's it. So they can't see <laughs> the paper is white. I don't know. 
All right, so Liz is doing number three. Doing number three. Let's, let's see. Let's let her paint her palette palette purple. I am painting my palette purple. Oh, she's going high. They said to go high, leave the little bottom one to the little ones. She gets to do six squares. He said that if you do get it on your clothes, it will not come out. So, good to know. Very good to know since I'm going high above my head. All right, beautiful, Liz. And now I get to do one. But here's where mine are going to be, right below purple. So, there's my 13. Here's 13. Yeah, get your six squares. I love it. We're pioneers. We are. I feel like Annie's doing a better job than I did with trying to paint so high above my head. <laughs> my masterpiece. Six. There's my masterpiece up there. We recycle both the paint and the paintbrushes. Oh, wow. There you go. That gets recycled and that gets recycled. That's right. And now, thank you so much. Thank you for awesome being day. a Disney artist today. Thank oh, you. Yeah. I know. I love you it. You can see what area you did and you can circle it. Put it in platform. Thank awesome. You. Thank you. Okay, guys, they gave us this to represent the mural, and our contribution is right there to the left of that green umbrella. This is a brand new mural. We are all Disney artists today, and we are going to come back later on tonight and just kind of check out how much actual progress got done today. Can't wait to see it. Look, look what I found. Look, guys, I found Orange Birds by Stephen Fishwick. It's only like $2,750. <laughs> Look, there's also Maleficent. And then look at my man, Figment. Oh my goodness, let me get so zoom in on that. Look at that. Okay, this is all really neat looking, and I love all the splatter pieces of it. Yeah. So, and these are one of, he's one of the performers that gets up there and then they splash all the, you know, and they dance around while they paint. It's pretty cool. And I think yesterday we saw him doing like Darkwing Duck or, um, or Donald, but put that clip in here. I love you. I love Miss Piggy. He's got a my I love Miss Piggy button on Carmen. This is amazing. Really amazing is. work. Wow. Amazing. We are here at the booth for Michelle St. Laurent. Look at this Mickey and Figment. Oh my god. You're so thinking cute. Okay, and taint but sassy. But here's the thing. So let me just go in here real quick. Look at some of this. There's Figment painting himself, Walt, and friends. Okay. I love it. And then, of course, Figment and the Dream Finder. So there's a bigger one of that one, too. And so that's 150 But then they have the bigger ones up here. Look at that guy. I want to say he's uh, $595, like $600. Bucks. Orange bird. Yes. Yeah. That's not my favorite. That's my favorite orange bird one right there. Look at that. Yeah. Cleaning house. Oh. Moods of orange bird. Just happy. <laughs> classic. Very classic. Yeah. She's currently painting right now. Let's see what she's working on. That was really cool. She's sitting there creating art to bring people happy faces and smiles. I like it. Hang in their home yeah, yeah, all year long. Amazing. Yeah. After a long morning of being a part of art, making art, and then also looking at some of the really cool art here, we decided to, we worked up an appetite. So we decided for the first time ever, we're going to try out the Regal Eagle Smokehouse here in the American Adventure Pavilion. So. I starting off my afternoon with a nice beer, Sam Adams. Cheers. It's pretty American. And then I've also got a, look at this, a sliced brisket on Texas toast sandwich. It's garlic Texas toast. I've got some mac and cheese, which looks divine. I've got, and I can't remember all the name of the sauces, but I'll put, I'll put a little clip in here. Um, but this, this one's my favorite. This one was like, Right there in the middle, third one over. Um, it's got a little bit of a kick to it, so good. And then Liz got the uh, allergy-friendly, so gluten-free uh, ribs. 
part of those are already gone and in my belly. Right. So I got the dry rub, gluten free ribs. That's already halfway gone, really good. And we have the pulled pork shoulder, and that's about halfway gone too. We're gonna split this. Is it North Carolina or something? Yeah, it's North Carolina pulled pork but, shoulder. Or pulled uh, pork butt. But yeah, pulled pork butt. There we go. And is that gluten free, like Texas yeah, it's toast? Gluten -free Charlie, yeah, gluten free Texas toast, French fries, and then also gluten free coleslaw. Creamy gonna... coleslaw. Oh, yeah. what, is, what is that? Oh, and that. <laughs> that is not from here, is no, it? No, it's an Italian margarita. Lemoncello and tequila. Cheers. <laughs> it's really good. Nice and refreshing. All right. I'm going to start off with a sip of beer. Cheers. Cheers to everybody. I'm going to just a little, little dab here. Oh, that did not come off as a dab. That's for sure. That is solid. Wow. That is really good, you guys. Mac and yeah, cheese time. No worries. It's good. It's not the best mac and cheese in the world, but it's good. All right, so here are the, 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 the rims. They just kind of fall off. They're really good. With or without sauce, they're kind of a little bit messy. It just melts in your mouth. It is so good. And this has the spicy sauce on it. So good. It's nice and juicy. It had a good flavor without the sauce, and then I put the sauce on it and it made it better. Um, but yeah, both of these are awesome. All right, so here we are, guys, at the Japan Pavilion, and they are doing a cool booth. Um, they do it every year, but this year, and just like other years, but this year we actually got to come, and they are doing pretty cool offerings. So uh, they do, uh, on a regular basis, they do this sake. Uh, so you get the sake like this, and then you get this customized uh, traditional sake cup, and this says, Liz, help me out, is it origato? Yes, thank you. It says thank you, right? Arigato. And then on this side, it says Andy and Liz, which is awesome. So first thing I'm gonna do, and we got a couple of um, we got a couple of treats here. One is the Wagyu bun, so traditional uh, steam bun with Wagyu beef in it. And then we got the ever popular sushi donut with all the spread here with the wasabi and the soy and don't know what the orange is, but. Eel sauce. Eel sauce. First thing I'm going to do, I want to try the sake. I haven't had sake in forever. It's not hot sake, so here we go. That is good. Mm. I've learned something about myself. I'm not a big fan of hot sake, but this is good. I really like this. That is tasty. It makes it even tastier when it says Andy and Liz on there. I got to say that. Now let's try the bao bun. You know, let's cut it open. So when we got this, they were restocking all the knives and the forks. They hadn't stocked the knives yet, so all I got is forks. So we'll just start with that and see where it goes. But let's take a look at it. Look at that. Yeah, looks good. Oh, already got a little bit of green sauce on there. Let's give it a taste here. Mmm, there's a sweet tinge to it. It's very good, very savory. There's a little bit of hint. Mm. of sweet to it. I wonder if it's the sauce. Let me see if it's the sauce. Hold on a second. But it's not the sauce, which is just like a pesto. Let's see. That's really delicious, guys. I actually wish I would have done this for lunch. This was so good. This is very, very good. But the, the barbecue earlier was really good, too. But this is amazing. Now, let's give the sushi a taste. Let's see what we think. We'll start with the... Which one should I start with, Liz? Uh, it looks like we got salmon, yeah. tuna, shrimp, and then think salmon and tuna again. And then we got cucumber. Start with the salmon. Let's go with the, the tuna. Okay. We'll start with the salmon here. I've seen people just like pick this straight up and eat it, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I'll do that. I'll pick it up like this. Here we go. Now we'll drag it through a little bit of eel sauce, a little bit of soy, a little bit of wasabi. There we go. Cheers. It's good. It's fresh. 
tastes like sushi. It's delicious. And they get the little bit of ginger in here in the center. Let's give that a whirl. Mmm. Fresh ginger. So good. I should do it justice. And just try for all of you guys so we can kind of know what the freshness level is all the way through. Get the tuna. Okay, so it's getting better. The salmon was good. The tuna was amazing. Yeah. Okay, here. Let's try the shrimp. Let's give that a whirl. And then we'll know. We'll know fully what we're working with here. It's a hard job that somebody's going to do. The tuna was my favorite. So I would say that everything was amazing. Of the of everything uh, out of these three, the the bun is my favorite. The uh, the steam bun. So there you go. But I like the savoriness of it. So on to the next thing. Okay guys, so we saw this much, much earlier in the day, but I gotta show you Whitney, Perkins. Whitney Perkins, Finish who we it. saw, yeah, she, we saw her just getting started on it, and look at this, it looks better than the picture. From Sidewalk Chalk, you guys, Sidewalk Chalk. So we're in the fine art section, but look at these sculptures. Here's Maleficent, isn't she amazing? Her face. She's about to be good. Then how would you like to have this for a coffee table in your house? Three on in, a little bit of you know, pixie dust. Oh, and there's Wendy and, and there's Wendy, Peter. And, and then you got Captain Hook up in here. Hook. And Nana. Oh, Nana down there. And the crocodile over there. And the croc. The old hag. Yeah, man, be careful what you're eating, y'all. I just want to point out how pretty the flower bed is, too. Super nice. Oh, and there's my guy. Yeah, there's the Olaf right there. Look at that. Oh, wow, he is just perfect. <laughs> Ready for a warm hug. <laughs> oh, Liz hasn't seen this one. Look at Fantasia Mickey, Sorcerer Mickey. Make that broom work. Yes, nothing could go wrong. And here are just two buddies right here. Look at their sweet little faces. But did yeah. you see Steamboat Willie? I did. Oh my gosh. It was definitely going to him. It's a man. Yeah. The OG right there. Oh. And Tink. I love that pose. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's call him out. Who do we got? Liz? It's up. Grumpy. Sneezing? Ah, uh, happy. Happy? Sneezing. Sleepy. Sleepy. Oh, no, wait. I think that's sleep. No, wait. That's, no, that's sleepy. Sorry. Bashful. Sneezy. He did a dopey. He's so cute. He's dopey. Oh, my gosh. Look at him. Okay, wish all of these were in our home. Yes. On pedestals like this, where they should be. Yeah, where they should be. I love it. Or on a hearth. Yeah. Those would, good go, those would go good on a hearth, yeah. Okay, guys. Now this is what you really need in your home, right down here. But you better be doing good, good things. Because otherwise, this is all the evil is going to come and get you. Did I paint and paint it with Hades? Maleficent man, her face. Oh, Look at people. Cruella, oh my gosh. And yeah, oh no, the puppy's like, oh, you get out of her. She puts puppies. She does. Look at that, oh yes. She went the detail, man. So always make sure you're paying close attention to where you're going in Epcot because you never know what you're going to find. Like this little Easter egg right here. You've got little dinosaurs. Forms, and I 
can almost picture little dinosaurs running around these guys. And what a neat way to pay tribute to the universe of energy. Speaking of universe of energy, which no longer exists because it houses well, what was left of Universe of Energy now houses Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. And we're going to go do that. And we're going to share the ride with you guys. I'm filming the whole thing. Liz, you ready? I am so. I, I was born ready. For we're this. up at Let's 7 o'clock this morning. We got the pass. Here we go. <laughs> Greetings, Terrans. I am Nova Prime Irani Rea, Commander of the Nova Corps. You do not want to know what happened last time someone did not stand where I told them to, okay? Stand by for teleportation! gosh that was such an amazing ride guys but there was like some kind of a glitch at the very beginning of the ride where that the the odd or the visual of the screens for the guardians wasn't showing up but the audio was working but then the ride was amazing as always so much fun so fast my own solo dance party during the ride there's nobody else she's like why weren't you dancing with me i was like i'm holding the camera <laughs> But it was amazing. No, uh, no motion sickness this time. So either I'm getting better at it or the ride. I don't know. Third row was the way to go. But it was definitely, it was definitely intense as it should be. It was a great ride, hands down. I think best, best. Well, definitely best roller coaster here at Disney for sure. So highly recommend. Can't recommend it enough. And we've had an awesome day here at First Time Festival of the Arts. We've been in art. We've participated in art. Um, we've seen just a ton and ton and ton of cool pictures, uh, just cool paintings. Well, yeah, if y'all get the chance, definitely check it out. Def we got to see so many different mediums of art. So anything from cast, styles. cast resin, cast bronze, cast, you know, and then of course the, the actual paintings and drawings. We got to see artists actually working. And then we got to step into the art, like you yeah, said. We got to be so part of it and actually make art awesome day. while we were here. Can't believe it. It was definitely a festival worth doing. Uh, again, I, I hope we can uh, next year. Yeah, so much fun. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Give it a big like, uh, you know, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ding that notification bell. That way you're going to know every time we go live or we put a video. And until next time, get out there, have some fun, and we'll, we'll see, see you on the flip, flip side. side. Bye, y'all.